welcome to my YouTube channel. This is going to be my very first ever video that I have filmed and sort of made the content myself rather than it just being a compilation of clips from Twitch. Uh, I'm really, really excited about it. This is going to be a get ready with me slash skincare slash me doing my makeup. Wait, that's getting ready. Well, anyways, you're gonna see all of that stuff in, that vi in this video. I am really, really excited about it. It's something you guys have been asking for for a super long time. It's been something I've been promising for a long time, but I haven't gotten around to it. I would like to apologize for the scuffedness that is incoming. I don't have a tripod, so I'm currently holding my camera with my arm and getting like the best arm workout I've gotten in months. Uh, and I also don't have a camera that has the screen that flips so I can't see myself right now so I'm really just hoping for the best but I want to get this YouTube video out and it'll be authentically me and just incredibly scuffed and fun so yeah I'm gonna meet you guys in the bathroom I will show you how I wash my face in the morning and the skincare products I use and that good stuff so let's get into the video I figured I'd start by giving you guys a little bit of a disclaimer about just skincare in general and then also talk to you about my skin so you know why I'm using the products that I'm using and uh, what my problem areas are. Uh, I'd like to start by saying that just because something in the skincare routine works for me does not mean that it is 100% going to work for you. Uh, so I wanted to be super clear about that because skincare is super complex and it's more than just the products that you use on your face. So it's how much water are you drinking? What are like genetically, how is your skin? Do you have acne prone skin? Have you been having these problems in the past? Um, and then on top of that, it's like exercising and the food that you eat. Are you like someone who consumes dairy? Those kinds of things all go into your skincare. So I can tell you products, but it is not going to be the end all be all of skincare. And I definitely um, recommend doing your research and finding out what things could help your skin outside of just products. Um, and then I also want to tell you about my skin so you kind of knew what I was working with. I um, genetically, I would say I lucked out in the skincare area. Um, I've never really had acne prone skin or dryness or I've never been too oily. I have super just like mild combination skin. Uh, my biggest insecurity with my skin is that every time I do get a pimple, it will scar, um, no matter what. Whether I pick it or pop it or what, if I don't, it will scar. Uh, so that's something that I've always had to deal with um, and it's a little frustrating. I typically just cover it with makeup, but I also have some products in my skincare routine that help me with that as well. First, I like to wash my face with the Kale Plus Green Tea Spinach Vitamins Superfood Cleanser from Youth to the People. Um, this is something that I got recently and I'm still, uh, I'm still thinking about this one. I'm still a little on the fence. I switched cleansers from my Fenty Skin Cleanser. They're like all in one makeup remover, whatever thing cleanser. Uh, it was super gentle. The issue that I had with it is it does have fragrance, which is not great for your skin. So I decided to try something a little more natural and I came across this. And then after I wash my face, I like to go in with a uh, vitamin C serum. So the one that I have right now is from Glow Recipe. It's their Pineapple Sea Bright Serum, uh, Brightening and Smoothing Serum. So this uh, I have, Jodi gave me the entire line of Glow Recipe to try out. Um, she didn't like it because it has fragrance, again, another product. Um, but I have a lot less of sensitive skin than she does, so I figured I could give it a try and it probably wouldn't bother me. And it hasn't bothered me and I do really feel like after I put this on, my skin feels like brighter and more plump. Um, after that, I go in with my Origins Ginseng uh, Eye Cream. So this is the Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Depuff. Um, this is really great as well. I, I like this product a lot. As you can see, I'm almost at the bottom and I will 100% be buying another one. Uh, I think this is something that I will never leave out of my routine. I know that there's a lot of um, speculation on whether or not eye creams are really worth it or whether or not they really do something but you know whether it's placebo or not it does make my eyes look brighter like my my under eye 100% feels uh, smoother and plumper so I really really enjoy this product and then lastly I go in with my Fenty Skin Moisturizer uh, this is the one with 30 SPF in it SPF is so important to your routine if you're not using sunscreen please use sunscreen um, there's lots of harmful rays out there and whether or not you're inside, like through the windows, they can still affect you. So every day you should be wearing SPF. Um, it helps with wrinkling, aging of the skin. 
uh, all of that kind of stuff. Uh, I really, really enjoy this product, not only because I'm a Rihanna stan, but also because uh, she tried to be environmentally friendly with it, which I really enjoyed. So this part of it is reusable, and when you just need uh, more moisturizer, you pick up these, and these are recyclable. So that makes me really happy, and I like that she did that. So this is the Fenty Skin Hydra Visor Invisible Moisturizer Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Sunscreen. So I really enjoy this. This is what I use as my moisturizer during the day. Um, but I also wanted to talk a little bit about sunscreen that uh, it does not come in the moisturizer. So I, I'll wear this one if I'm inside and you know it's quarantine so I'm just sitting in my living room or in my bedroom or whatever else. I'll use this guy. If I'm going outside and I know I'm going to be exposed to the sun a lot, I'm using this. Uh, this is Super Goop's Unseen Sunscreen. Um, Super, Super Goop was recommended to me by a friend and so I went ahead and gave it a try and this is the best sunscreen I have ever used. If I'm going outside like say to the beach or if I'm just going to be walking or in direct sunlight I will always be wearing this and my makeup sits on top of it beautifully so no complaints there. So that's what my morning routine will look like uh, and then I'll go through wash my face and show you exactly that. Okay, so um, I have a super small bathroom downer and I am currently putting my camera on this really precarious ledge and just hoping it doesn't fall over, but this is pretty much the only way that I could get the shot. So first I'm gonna go in with my cleanser. Like washing my face and, and getting ready in the morning is so, it feels like such a kind of like sacred time that you just enjoy for yourself, but the, now you guys are here watching me through a lens, so I'm gonna be a little awkward. Lukewarm water! Okay, I pat my face with a towel really gently because you don't want to like rub your skin or irritate it, so it's just like a light, gentle pat. This seems like a video that I would be doing in the morning, but it's actually like 4 p.m. right now because I've been procrastinating all day and so I'm just now washing my face and I feel amazing. And now we're gonna go in with the glow recipe. So I just take this, it's one of those dropper bottles. Oh wait, that was a really lame pull. Okay, wait, okay, I know how to use these. Oh my gosh, I'm running out. It's not me being lame. <gasps> Do I have any left? Oh, there it goes. Okay, so yeah, it's like this serum that I really want to show you guys in the dropper, but I have none left. So instead, what I'm gonna do is just pour it on my fingers and you can see the consistency. So it's, um, normally this is not how I would put it on. I'd put it on with a dropper, but like I showed you guys, uh, it's empty. So I'll put it out and then it just goes on really smoothly. I really, really love the way that it smells. So this is like a brightening serum, it's supposed to even out your skin tone, maybe help with my dark spots that I have, and it's supposed to hydrate as well. So um, yeah, I just feel kind of plump afterwards. And then we're gonna go in with the Origins Ginseng Eye Cream. So I take, you know, it's just some on my finger and I go under, under, and then I red recently that it's actually a really good idea to put your eye cream on the top of your eyelids as well. So I do this too. Um, I am a contact wearer, so I don't like rub the crap out of it, but you know, it's supposed to be good for it. So I just really gently um, put it on the top of my eyelids as well and then underneath. And again, this just is, you know, supposed to brighten and, and plump your under eyes and help with wrinkles in the future. And so I am pretty adamant about using eye creams, I don't know how well they work, but to me, I think it really helps uh, it really helps with my under eye bags because I do look sleepy a lot and because uh, I have like deep set eyes, so I really enjoy um, this product and I think it'll like always be a part of my skincare routine. And then lastly, I take my moisturizer and FPS combo, it's really nice little just like squeeze, squeeze. Uh, about two. I really like to make sure that I'm generous with this one. Um, with moisturizer, I'm always generous, especially because this has SPF. I want to make sure I have enough of it on my skin. And then I like to give a little bit of it to my neck. I think that that's really important for all of your skincare stuff is to give a little bit to your neck because it's like the same type of skin. So 
Uh, I didn't do that with my earlier ones, but I was running out of product. So uh, make sure that you're doing that when you're putting your stuff on as well. Okay, so some of the honorable mention products that I'd like to point out. Um, one, going in with the Fenty Skin Continuation, me loving Rihanna. Um, I also have her Fat Water Pore Refining Toner. Um, I actually really, really enjoy this product. It's a little, it's a little thick. She's a little thick you know what I mean? Like she got some, mm. Uh, so that one uh, is, is interesting in that respect, but I really, really do enjoy it. So I'll probably start using that again. I don't know why I haven't been using it lately. Um, and then I wanted to point out my two favorite face masks. Uh, so number one is a just classic, I'm sure you've seen this all over everywhere, um, but it's the Health and Beauty Aztec Secret uh, Indian Healing Clay Mask. It's like this dirt clay that you mix with water and you put it on your face and it's supposed to detox. You can put it in your hair too. You can mix it with some apple cider vinegar. Whatever it is, this stuff works. If like I, my skin is being really troublesome and I just want to like detox and get all of the ick out of there, I'll use that one. I also really love the Bosha Matcha Magic Super Antioxidant Mask. Uh, so again, this is from Bosha. This is a uh, matcha, so it smells really, really good and it's got this very pretty green. Um, and then I'll go ahead and show you this mask. So this one kind of looks like this and it's got this kind of creamy consistency and it smells fantastic. And it's another sort of uh, detox and antioxidant mask. So I love that one. That one is my favorite mask I think of all time. I highly recommend it. It feels great on your skin. It's like one of those ones that kind of, how do I explain it? It goes on like wet and creamy and then it dries and it's sort of like crackly and then you wash it off and your face feels so, so good. So. Those were my honorable mentions that didn't make it into my everyday skincare routine, but are some things that you should do um, on top of that. Hi, okay, so it is the end of the day. I think it's like maybe 11.30ish or whatever. I just finished stream. So tonight I'm gonna to show you how I take my makeup off and the way that I get unready for the day. Um, so I'm gonna be showing you my new products, uh, which are a part of my nighttime routine, and then I'll show you myself like washing my face again and stuff like that. Um, so, again, I just use the same cleanser both morning and night, so this is just the Kale and Green Tea Cleanser. And then after that, I'll probably maybe three or four times a week go in with my Deep Sweep Pharmacy 2% BHA Pore Cleaning T Toner. So this is a, like an exfoliant toner um, that cleans your pores and just like really kind of gets all the gunk out. So I really, really, really love this product. I love actually everything from Pharmacy. Uh, Pharmacy is a pretty great brand and I feel good about it and it's like clean beauty. So I like this a lot. After I tone my face, I then go in with Bosha's Rosehip Omega Face Oil. So rosehip oil is one of the things that works uh, to kind of plump your skin, hydrate your skin, and also is supposed to help with my dark marks. And I think that it really does. I put this on every night and it, my skin feels so good and hydrated after I use that. So I really, really love rosehip oil. Um, another eye cream. This one is from Glow Recipe. This is their Avocado Melt Retinol Eye Sleeping Mask. Um, so I use this every night. I think it's great. It smells good. It's kind of like a cucumber, maybe, even though it's supposed to be an avocado. I don't know. It smells great though, and I really like it. And last but not least, this is my favorite product out of my morning and my nighttime skincare routine. I freaking love this moisturizer. So I have the Belief True Cream Aqua Bomb. It was introduced to me by a friend, and it is, it's honestly just the best. It's like so, uh, light but it also helps moisturize my skin a lot and it smells really good and it makes my face feel really really fresh. I also use the Pharmacy Green Clean to take my makeup off. It's a makeup melt away cleansing balm so I use this first and then I wash my face. So first I'm gonna take the Pharmacy Green Clean and it's got this um, kind of yeah green color and it's very balmy so I just take like a scoop of it and this one I don't wet my face prior. I just take it and kind of let it melt into my skin. I go like this and then eventually I kind of look a little bit like a clown because my makeup's all over the place. But go ahead and wash this off. Okay, now all my makeup is off and I'm gonna go in with my cleanser. So I rub that together to lather it up. And then, again, pat dry with a towel. Don't rub or scrape, just pat. 
nice and gentle. And now I'm gonna go in with my pharmacy toner and I just take a little cotton pad and I just kind of spread this across my face. Um, it does make me feel like pretty dry and that's why I don't use it every day and I don't think you're supposed to use exfoliating toners every day anyways. So I just get this all around my face. You can see it gets off ex any extra makeup or dirt that I have kind of lying around there, maybe in my hairline or wherever else. After that, I'm going to take my avocado milk eye mask. I'm pretty generous with this one just because it's thick and so uh, it's like really, really needs to be spread around. And kind of pat it in. Again, being careful because I am wearing contacts. <laughs> Next, I'm using my rose hip oil and I'm pretty careful not to touch my face with the dropper um, because it's kind of unsanitary. Then I just take this, about two drops, on all three places of my face and I just spread this around and this feels so good like my face feels so hydrated immediately after putting this on I love this product so much I will this is like one of my skincare staples that I will never live without again getting it on my neck massaging it there as well and then lastly my favorite product my belief aqua bomb the best moisturizer ever I've been using this for I don't know maybe like a year now if I take this it's got this like blue color this like very um, soft consistency and that's that that's my nighttime routine you saw my morning routine you saw me get ready for stream and then and you saw me stream if you went to my stream which I appreciate you if you do and then you saw me take my makeup off and do my night care time routine um, at night I also wrap my hair in like a silk scarf and you know I got my glasses and everything brush my teeth floss water pick whatever it is um, yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was a little scuffed. Maybe in the future I will redo it with less scuffedness and really like prepare for this one. But um, I think scuffed is me. It's us. It's like the part of our community that makes us um, like when you go to a Sydney stream, you know you're going to get a little bit of that. So that makes me happy. I hope that you guys enjoy. Please let me know if there's any other lifestyle videos that you guys want to see or any feedback that you have. I would absolutely love to hear it. So thanks. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.